traveling aboard the transport ship Hornet, which is bound for the planet Roke and Kratos Spaceport 3. The ship will be arriving in our Kula system in 12 days, followed by our final destination of Roke after a total of 14 days in transit. Please enjoy your flight. Two weeks, that's pretty long. Whew. Now that the Creator has left this universe, a new universe created by the formal inhabitants of the Eternal Sphere has been born. Birth, prosperity, glory, decline, destruction, and then rebirth. Ever since the dawn of history, these events have been repeated over and over. But what happened this time was something completely different from all that came before. Rebellion against the Creator, the unforgivable sin. Did we do the right thing? Can we as humans bear the weight of this sin? Sorry, please forgive her. The things kids say. Hey, Gretel, you stay out of this. There's nothing wrong with what I said. Rumina, please. A whole lot of people lost their families, loved ones, and friends in this war. Try thinking a little bit about their suffering and their sadness. If you did, you'd never say things like that. Yeah? Well, what's crying gonna change? Nothing! Cry all you want, it won't help. Am I wrong? Rumina, please. Please don't talk like that. People who can't understand the pain of others are the worst people around. What? what are you talking about? Gretel, you... Wait, it's okay. She's right. Yeah, you're right. It's exactly like you said. We have to be more positive. Crying about things won't change anything. Thanks, Rumina. You've taught me a valuable lesson. Huh? What? <sighs> well, good. As long as you know what I mean. You've got it right. When your very existence is denied, if you accept that and don't even try to fight, you might as well be dead. If we don't act to protect our own selves, then who will do it for us? Because Sophia just stated the obvious. Yeah, I know, the ending is pretty long. We are almost done, though. Once we see Fate's scene, we're good. Side, 
My college is closed indefinitely. Worrying won't get me anywhere. What happens, happens. I guess I'll take it easy for a while. College is closed indefinitely. There's the end. Don't remember if it leaves this screen. It might. But anyway. Oh, hey, clear game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want this. Did I not say my name? Does it not leave the screen? Alright, well anyway, the game is done. I'm gonna talk about it for a bit. First of all, the ending, it, I guess it makes it a little better that we get to see what everyone's doing. Seeing them back in their respective places is nice. There's just one problem. The game does a terrible job at explaining how that's possible. Like, they, they just got to the point that, like, oh, their world's deleted and the only thing that's alive is themselves because they were, they had, like, their own minds and all. How on earth are they in places, though? It's just, like, I don't know. Very, very weird. The ending for this game is, it, it's, it, it leaves a lot of loose ends and it's kind of open for interpretation. You don't really know exactly what happened. But as I said, the plot in this game is kind of underwhelming. I feel like they spent too much time in Elicor 2 and Disc 1. They could definitely flesh... I said it too, they should have fleshed out more Quark members, like, um, Lieber, Marietta, all of them. They also should have, uh, fleshed out Cliff more. Because they mentioned that dojo with Mirage, and I was like, what dojo? Like, when on earth have they ever mentioned that dojo? Never. But yeah, the plot isn't bad. It's just, it leaves a lot to be desired. They could have done it better. Could have fleshed out certain characters more, like Sophia. Sophia barely got any time to shine. Even at the end, when you saved her, she didn't really get much time to shine. Maria was a pretty good character. I feel like Maria is, like... Probably the only character they tried to flesh out. Of all the other characters, they didn't really do that good of a job. And Nell, I guess. I guess they did Nell. Also, you have the thing where, like, most of the characters are optional. Like, Roger, Albel, Pepita, Nell. They obviously suffer from development. They get their development during Elicor 2 because they're optional. And once you get them, they don't really have much involvement. Also, characters like Blair. Blair came too late, but Blair had potential. But yeah, NPCs, they really should have, um... I'll flesh them out more. Also, antagonists are really lacking. Because, um, Elicor 2 didn't really have an antagonist. And after Elicor 2, it was just, uh... At first, it was the Sphere Co Corporation and Luther. They really didn't have much villains. So, villains were lacking, incredibly. Just, like, it's a missed opportunity. A lot of stuff. And there's a lot of stuff, like, what's the point? Like, Amina and Dion. I would have loved it if they tied in Amina with Sophia because she looked like Sophia. It would have been, it would have been really neat. But anyway, story isn't bad. Really miss potential though. Um, you guys are probably hearing me hate on the game so much, and you're like, you like this game so much. Well, I really like the gameplay. The gameplay is really fun. Cancel bonuses are great. Fury is a good addition. I love the way that HP and MP work. Like using your HP for physical attacks and using your MP for magic. It's kind of cool. The way they did HP and MP is cool. Um. So, gameplay is really cool. The bonus board's a neat addition. Um, cancel bonuses are nice. But yeah, the gameplay is good. I like the gameplay. It's really fun. Although, there are a few bosses that are, like, <laughs> not fun. But other than that, it's, uh, it's, it's a good gameplay. It's really fun. Dungeons, kind of mixed. Some dungeons are fine, but some are kind of tedious to go through. The crashing is very annoying. Exploring the dungeons can be annoying because of the crashing. Um, trying to think. Music's really good. I like the music in this game. So good. But, um... Yeah, music's good. As I, I already talked about the characters. I already talked about the story. The graphics look pretty good. The graphics look pretty good for a PS2 game. Looks nice. I think that's pretty much it. But I think this is my favorite Star Ocean game. I think Star Ocean games don't really have good plot to begin with. So, you're not going to find the Star Ocean game with, like, an amazing plot. Of all the Star Ocean games' plot, this is probably the best one. Which is kind of sad, because even this plot has some problems. But, um, this is my favorite Star Ocean game, I think. If not this, then Star Ocean 2. But I'm pretty sure this one is. How long is post-game? Can't really give you a time. For post-game, we have two dungeons to do. Actually, no, three dungeons to do. Um, we have to find all the trading cards, do the final ancient book, 
and the arena, and that's it. Shouldn't take too long. 10 hours, maybe? 10 to 15 hours? 15 hours most? Especially because I'm gonna do item creation stuff off-screen. Like, I'm gonna do some stuff off-screen, so probably like 15 hours. Maybe 20. 10 to 20 hours, let's just say, is safe. Nocturne once this post game's done? I don't know about that soon. There's no way I'm gonna be able to play Nocturne before Scarlet Nexus comes out. It's not possible. Also, the more you ask for Nocturne, the more I'm not gonna the more it's gonna the more later it's gonna be. <laughs> Alright, anyway though. Do I not leave the screen? I think I'm good. It said clear save. I think we're good to reload the game. I'm about to look up. I'm gonna look up Star Ocean 3 end screen. Because I don't want to leave... It did say clear save, but I kind of skipped through it. Hold up, hold up. And pretty much over just override the file that has the clear game on it, nothing more. I wanna make sure I'm doing this good. <laughs> I, I kinda figured you were kidding, Raptor. I had a feeling. There is a bit of a setup for post-game. It's not a lot like I did. I'm not gonna like do crazy stuff like I did for Vess. Actually, no, there's probably more of a setup. I'm gonna be honest, there's probably more of a setup for this post-game than there is for Vesperia. Because I don't want to do too much RNG item creation on screen. So there's probably... I feel like there's more of a setup for this game, if anything. Uh, I want to make sure I can leave. I think I can leave this screen. It did say clear save, so I'm going to put my starting student screen up really quick. And we are going to load the game, at least. We're probably going to wrap up stream, honestly. We will load the game. You'll play it near the end of the July. I have my methods. It's possible in the month of July. Give me... Oh, yeah, clear save. Okay, perfect. I want to see if there's a fast travel option. Because I would love it if they had, like... I think they have, like, a bunny to fast travel you out. Oh, yes. Yes, they do. Hello there. Here I'm here to tell you you completed the main game. Congratulations. I've also been told to convey you a revelation to you. Head for the mining town or the lava caves. I have no idea what it's about. Alright, so this is kind of an intro. But, um... What was I saying? It does, This gives you a hint on what you have to do. You have to find out for yourself. However, I can get you out of here. What do you want to do? Yeah, finally. Thank you. Uh, bring me to Surferio. Alright then, the symbol should do the trick. Go, go, go. Alright, so yeah, uh, the bunny gave us a hint. I'm gonna explain what the post game is right now. So, um, we are gonna wrap up stream, though. I think this is a good time to wrap up. I don't think I should start anything. I could probably do, um... So I'm gonna talk about it, because Raptor said there's a bit of a setup. It's kinda hard to say, because, um... B4 says you have to refight the final boss. <laughs> oh, please, no. Bunny tells you you beat the game, best game ever. I know, right? But anyway, I'm gonna talk about this. So... The thing is, I don't think there's going to be much of a setup for this post game. Like, the plan is, I want to go to Maze of Tribulations pretty much immediately. We're not going to do much of a setup for the maze, but we are going to do a setup for when it comes to, like, Sphere 211. So, what's going to happen is, like, right, there's not going to be a setup for, like, now. There's going to be a setup mid-post game. In the middle of the post game, there might be more setup stuff. For now, I don't think there's going to be too big of a setup. All I really want to do is I kind of want to grind my characters a bit. I just want to grind my characters to get in uh, words, a bit and do a little bit more item creation. But I don't know. I'll talk about that later. But anyway, we beat the game. Beat the main story. I don't think the story is bad. I don't want anyone to think the story is bad. The story isn't bad. It has some good moments. I will say that. But I mean, like, I really feel like the Elicor 2 arc drags for too long. 
a as great as Nell is, she doesn't carry that Elecor 2 arc. And, um, I just feel like this 2 is disappointing. Everything's disappointing. The plot twist isn't bad, but again, what was the point? The story could have been better, basically. I it's disappointing. Star Ocean isn't really good at stories. They're all, like, pretty eh. I feel like Star Ocean 2 might have the best story, if not this game. I said this game, but I think Star Ocean 2's story is better. Um, but yeah, Star Ocean's not really known for story. But, um, I also really liked it if we went to other planets. Star Ocean 4 is, like, Star Ocean 4 has multiple planets. I would have loved it if this game had more planets. That would have been really neat. But anyway, this game is good. Gameplay is fun. Music is good. Um, everything about it. it it's a pretty good game. It's a good game. I like it. It still sticks with me today. It, you know, it's a good game. But yeah, we have post game. Post game's actually um, post game ha it's gameplay, no story. So post game is bound to be fun. There are some things about post game, but post game's actually pretty challenging. And uh, I do uh, but um, I do plan to uh, we're not gonna do a setup right away, but we are gonna do a setup mid post game. Like I'll do some post game. I'll probably start some post game next week. And then I'll do a setup then. We'll see how it works out. I don't know. I I'm kind of playing it by year right now. Shouldn't be too bad though, but yeah. Is it bad that I more or less lost track of the story? No, it's not, honestly. That's how that's how meh the story is. The story is just kind of eh. I've got my problems with it. I ran on this game enough. I don't need to go more. I already talked about everything. But yeah, those of you watching on YouTube, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm really glad this Redux playthrough happened. I'm glad I finally did. This was like the most anticipated Redux I've wanted to do. You may think, oh, Grandia, because it's your favorite game ever. Yes, however, the commentary for this game... <laughs> my other commentary for this game was awful, which is why I really wanted to do this Redux more than anything. Like, I watch... I go back and watch my old commentary of this game, and it's actually like... Ugh, it makes me cringe. I do not like hearing it. So, like, I really, really wanted... This Redux playthrough was long anticipated for me, so... I, I, it's not done. I know I'm talking like it's the end. It's not the end, but just in case, I'm just saying this just in case something happens where it's like I come to the post game a little later than I thought. I'm probably not going to do much of what I did with Vesperia, but in case I do. But either way, I'm talking about it now because I want to. But anyway, those of you watching on YouTube, hope you all enjoyed. And when we come back next time, we'll, um, we'll, um, uh, yeah, when we come back next time, we'll uh, start the Maze of Tribulations and do that, and we'll begin the post game and all that. So, it should be a ton of fun. Post game in this game is pretty good. But yeah, that's gonna be it. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna wrap up. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. Again, I'm gonna try my best and get those fake gold I need for Vesperia. If I do, I'll tweet about it tomorrow morning. Like, I'll tweet if I'm doing Vesperia or Crash 4. Either one will happen. Um, no stream Saturday. I might stream on Sunday? I don't know, though. Because my Sunday's, uh, my Sunday might be open, but if I do stream on Sunday, I don't know what's gonna happen there. I don't know. I probably won't do Star Ocean until, like, Monday or Tuesday. We're not gonna be back with Star Ocean until next week, like, Monday or Tuesday for Star Ocean, but if I do something Sunday, I might do something different. I don't know. It should be an interesting day, though. If I even do stream, I might not stream on Sunday. I might take off. But, um, I don't know. Nah, we're probably not going to stream on Sunday because I really don't have anything to do. But, um, anyway, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.